Yeah, no, it's the same Warzone. It's just you respawn. But like, we wouldn't really. Thank you so much. All right, bet. I think I honestly might get off after this. To be honest, might end the stream a little early. Hey guys, this is FaZe Link here, and I decided that someone should finally make an advanced tutorial about Toon Link. Aw, oh, now this is embarrassing. I'm sorry guys, I would have shaved, but all the salons are closed, and honestly, I don't know what I'm gonna do at this point. Just joking. That's, that's my arm. That's not my hairy asshole. I didn't know how to start the video. Before we get into today's topic, I just want to let all you little jokesters know that if any of you say a single fucking negative thing about my hair, you're automatically a racist bitch. Not only will I be twitlongering you and uh, portraying you as the most racist white supremacist piece of shit on the planet, I will also be harvesting your testicles because that's how Technicals does. FaZe Rug is actually my number one fan. And I know after the video I just made that might make a lot of you Rugrats envious or jealous. I understand that. And although my contract with FaZe is pending, we have to talk about the last point that I made in my video. And even though Rug might have forgotten about this very touching friend of his, a lot of his fans haven't. So if you guys would like to continue helping Mike and treating him as if he's a human being that didn't stop existing in 2018, there is a GoFundMe that I will be linking down below in the description. At first I was wondering how Rug even found the video when it was sub 2k views, but then I remembered that I'm probably one of the most influential content creators of our time, really. So it, it all kind of makes sense how this wrapped together. Rug was live streaming a couple days after the video dropped. And the reason why he saw the video in the first place was because some people in his chat, I only saw two, it might have been more, but some people in his chat were asking if he saw a video by Technicles. He ended his stream early, and at the exact time that he ended his stream, he started DMing me on Twitter. Now, I'm not a piece of shit, so I don't feel any reason to be using DMs from Rug. I don't feel like that's ever necessary without consent. Rug did follow me, and then he also added me on Discord. After we exchanged words a little bit on Twitter, we talked for half an hour over Discord about the specific situation involving the homeless man Mike and his daughter. I have to take an L on this one. My investigative journalism was lacking a little bit because I wasn't expecting uh, someone like Rug to be so upfront and up forth about uh, situations like this because he seemed upset that I didn't message him. But when you think about the disparity in following and you know what he has to gain from even responding to a random person on Twitter, I didn't think it was possible. That taught me a good lesson. Even though I think that they might not respond, I should still reach out. That That is an important thing for me to do in the future. Now that I have a lot more people that are looking in and forming their own opinions, you really don't want misinformation to spread like that. And I can understand why he'd be upset uh, initially when talking to me. What amazed me was the speed at which he addressed pretty much every single problem in that section. He explained to me why it was hard to get Mike a home, things like mental illness, disagreements, internal feuds that a lot of people might not know about since he hasn't officially addressed it, which I still do think would be a really smart thing for you to do, Rug, is address that so stuff like this doesn't come up in the future. But he not only met with the daughter the very next day after we had that call, he also fulfilled the entire GoFundMe that the daughter promised would go towards helping her father and also gave her some stuff she was upset about not receiving before beforehand when they did all the stuff like two, three years ago. In all honesty, I consider this a massive W. Everyone got what they wanted in the situation. Rug was fine with the video that I left up. I told him, hey, I might not like your videos, but I really respect you for talking to me and solving this issue as genuinely as possible. He was pretty down to earth. I, I honestly gotta hand it to him. There's a lot of people that reach that height and there's just such a disconnect from them and then people that are viewed as below them. I'm glad that Mike got a little bit more support even though Rug stated that he's been trying to keep in touch with them to make sure he's okay, which is very nice. And that the daughter was able to resolve any kind of issues that she was having um, with Rug and their family. What a great way to wrap up a story. At the end of the day, I don't feel too bad about it because I'm not even the person that covered it. Detective took over that segment, so honestly, do better, man. That's it for today, guys. You know me. The most I have the most integrity out of any creator I've ever fucking seen, so I just had to put I had to put that out there and let you guys know the truth. Everything else I still stand behind. Just wanted to correct that last part. Uh, I am going to be joining FaZe Clan. 
uh, and my channel is probably going to be hitting 100k within the next week. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Yo, dude, Rug follows me on Twitter. He's probably going to unfollow me after a little bit because, you know, followed me to help resolve that issue, but I still appreciate it so I can flex, flex in this video and then put it in the tags. Yes! Hey, I'll, t I'll take the quick flex. I'll take that, I'll take that, uh, flex, flex seal? Quick, fix, the quicker picker upper? No. Hey guys, this is FaZe Link here. 